parishioners and friends of St. George's. Christmas is accompanied by emotions almost incomparable to any time of the year. And so how do we make best of Christmas? Well, let me offer you my five ways for Christmas this year. Number one, give. It could be something small like a handwritten note saying thank you to that person who gave you a gift or a card. Or it could be something really big, maybe a big meal for family and friends. But whatever you do, give something because giving really is a blessing. Number two, practice gratitude. Saying thank you to that person who gave you a present this year is really special because it really gives us a sense of value and belonging. But you can cultivate that feeling by taking it with you. I have found that practicing gratitude as a meditative exercise helps to take away negativity and actually gives me perspective. And so take time to practice gratitude. This leads me to my third tip. Become still. In the busyness of the time, it really is worth going and sitting in your favorite chair, looking through a window and just quiet your mind. Become aware of the specialness of the season and of yourself. You will really thank yourself for just becoming still and practicing a sense of the awareness. My fourth tip is celebrate. During this time, we have to be joyous. You can be among friends or family or even just by yourself. Put on those Christmas carols, sing along at the top of your voice, come to church, join in the festivities of the time, partake in the joyous sense of the occasion, of the magic of the season, and be happy, be glad. And then my final tip, treat yourself. It could be a good meal or a good glass of wine. It could be whatever, but enjoy it. It is Christmas. And then I'll offer you a bonus tip. We're all aware that this year very much is a COVID Christmas like the year before. And so think through on how life has changed, but also think on how things will change in the future with a sense of realism, but also optimism. If Christ were to be born in your very own household this month, how would it change you? How would it prepare you so that your lifestyle will be altered? Think through on the demands of a new person entering into your life and how that can inspire you to become a better person. May we value friends and family like never before in our lives. And as we look to the future and we share this time with others, may we be the ones who have seen the glory of Christ. And so I wish you a very blessed Christmas.